In recent years, there have been many breakthroughs in multiple myeloma treatment, new therapies, improved quality of life, and increased survival rates. Without clinical trials, none of these advances would have been possible. Myeloma clinical trials are studies that test whether a new treatment is better than existing options. The US FDA is responsible for evaluating the study data and deciding whether to approve a new treatment. Clinical trials are used to investigate treatments for patients at all stages of myeloma, including those who have precursor conditions, like smoldering myeloma, those who are newly diagnosed, and those who have received previous treatments and whose myeloma has relapsed. When a treatment is ready to be tested, researchers design a research plan called a protocol, which includes such details as how many patients will be enrolled, how the treatment will be administered, and when and how participants will be monitored. Clinical trials pass high standards of scientific design, as well as an ethics review to ensure that the trial protects the rights and welfare of all participants. Before a patient enrolls in a clinical trial, he or she visits the clinical trial site to have the details of the study treatment explained and to learn whether he or she is eligible to participate. Patients who agree to participate in a trial sign an informed consent form, which is an acknowledgement that the participant understands the purpose of the research, how the trial will work, and that he or she accepts any risks. The consent form also assures the participant that he or she is free to withdraw from the trial at any time for any reason. To be approved for use by the FDA, a new treatment must be studied in multiple clinical trials, each serving a specific purpose. In a Phase I trial, the new treatment is given to a small number of patients with the goal of figuring out the highest dose a patient can safely receive important information on how the treatment works, and information about side effects. Phase II trials look at a larger number of patients to assess how effective the new treatment is and to collect information about side effects. Phase III trials study how safe and effective the new treatment is compared with a treatment that has already been approved across a much larger number of patients. Other types of clinical trials are conducted for reasons other than assessing a therapy for approval. Expanded access or compassionate use trials make treatments that have not received FDA approval available to patients with life-threatening conditions for whom there are no other treatment alternatives. Umbrella and basket trials individualize treatments to patients based on their specific genetic makeup. If you are interested in participating in a clinical trial, talk with your myeloma doctor. Other sources of information about myeloma clinical trials are the MMRF Patient Navigation Center and the FDA website, clinicaltrials.gov. Clinical trials are essential to the development of new myeloma treatments and provide new options for patients at all stages of multiple myeloma. Patients who participate in clinical trials are the first to receive the newest therapies. However, it is important to remember that the treatments studied in clinical trials may or may not be more effective than existing treatments. They may also have side effects. By participating in a clinical trial, you not only give hope to yourself, but also to other myeloma patients, including those who will be diagnosed with multiple myeloma in the future.